Okay guys, we're back on the video in part number two with the Healy Guard. And before we go ahead and do some wheeling, I want to explain a couple of things for to you so you know exactly what to do. Because in some cases, sometimes you haven't got a rear guard to put over the top, you might have a buck. But if you haven't got any of that, there's a certain way to do it to get the right measurements. So come along with me here and I'll show you a few things. It's only obvious that unless you've got a buck, if you make a panel over the top of another one, you one thickness away. Not that it really matters, but if you want to do it right, what you then do, and I'll show you before I go ahead and wheel it, as you can see, this panel is only being uh, blocked. You can clearly see it, all the lumps and bumps, and it's not, you know, it's not uh, as we left it uh, last week. Uh, I cleaned it up, obviously, as I said I would. Uh, take all most of the marking out, I left the marking for the uh, profiles only and the rear line here which has got to be finished off and I'll show you how to do that. But what you need to do is at one point you need to use some very transparent paper. I'll just pick it up and show you. Okay, so we've got the transparent paper. The obviously is going to be a much bigger piece but I'll just show you. Now if you were to grid the old mudguard so I'm taking this off for a minute. If you were to grit this mudguard every say 120 mil, just grit it all up, put lines all across like that with uh, a fine line or tape or whatever. Just put all this information in on the uh, on the uh, um, guard and then copy it by putting transparent paper over the top. As I said, you need a bigger piece, but just to show you. So you copy the grit. You copy exactly the same thing that is on this mud guard and you transfer it to the new guard, which then will become this. You transfer all the, all the grit and all the patterns, position. So, as I said before, at one point you won't be able to put this on top of this because it's over the top. Being over the top is mean, means that it's, being big, that it's bigger and you can get caught out with the distance and so on and so on. So to recapture, grit the old mudguard if you haven't got a buck, copy the grid, transfer the grid to the new panel and work off that. Also, it will be handy to have some strips of paper. Um, don't use tape because tape can stretch when you take it out and you can put, once the grid is drawn on this mudguard, you can then eyeline, uh, mark all, the, uh, all your lines on the paper and check it out in this fashion. You're obviously not going to put it like that if the grid is different. You've got to put it exactly the same where the grid is and you mark all your lines and that's a second chance that you get to make sure that you whitten the mill. Uh, so you use paper over the grid and on and on and you finish off, you have a line here obviously off the, off the uh, old grid and you mark it all in and you make sure that everything is the same. So what I'm saying is that between the gauges, the grid and the bit of paper you should get it pretty, pretty close. You can do it this way, you can do it that way, which way you want, but make sure they're all the same. Now we're going to start to open this panel up and we're going to wheel it, but before I do that, I'm going to mark myself the middle of this radius, so once it's open, I know exactly where to wheel. You don't want to wheel away from the uh, shoulder, from the... Uh, what do we call it? The spine. You want to get the spine done first, all the way around. Get all that nice. Then fill in the center. Drag it out if you've got too much metal. Pull it down if, if, if it needs to be pulled down. But I'll show you and explain to you while I'm doing it. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw the radius or the spine all the way through here. I get the cameraman to follow my hands. I'm going to go all the way through here, like it was in there. Again, be as close as you can, but in this case, 
as close as you can possibly check it a couple of times if you like but but, yeah, but it doesn't have to be spot on because we'll do a we'll, we'll manage it and bend it and tweak it later on so all I know is at the moment that there's yeah there's my radius there going into there remember there's the radius again then I'm coming across here excuse my back I'm coming across here and I'm going to there through here and through there like that you see the similarity again it doesn't have to be perfect but it gives you somewhere where to wheel for the time being that is until you get till you get to the greedy greedy of it okay here we go like that okay so that is now marked I'm gonna open it up and start wheeling I'm down here on the floor and you can imagine as I mentioned to you before you can wheel it at this position of course you can but chances are that you're gonna put a lot of lines because you'll be using a fairly sharp wheel so you want to use the flatter wheel as possible in order to get it smooth as quick as possible and, as, and initially you wheel it the line of vision in other words you wheel it this way don't wheel it that way wheel it this way if you wheel it that way you might get that you want to wheel it this way first and then with a light pressure you win it that way and bring all these edges down see how this edge is up well most of this edge is up because this is probably still hollow and we're going to fix that in a minute and you need to hold the guard and i'll stress that and i mentioned it many many times you need to hold the guard on the open position see how this edge when i do that drops can you see that okay so you hold it up like that and you wheel it. If this drops too much, you stretch it a little bit. But not good. It's not good bending it that way. You're not, you're not gonna get the right shape. So just watch what I do. This one here, um, you can't open it too much, but you can open it a little bit and then you can finish it off. You can finish this part off, just there, just there by hand. As I mentioned before, you either do it this way or you make this part and then weld it in, which you still have to do a lot of hand work anyway, so you're gaining nothing. So now I'll open this up a little bit. And there you'll see me going in there. Okay, we're now ready to go. Oh, let's open up a little bit more. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the wheel that I'm going to choose. You obviously cannot put a flat wheel there because you just take all the shape away. Okay, so let's go on the wheel. Have a look at our wheels, what we got. That's too flat. Although, having said that, having said that, if I open it up a little bit more, I'm going to be able to do it with that. 
Not about it, what I can't. Yeah, this will do the job just nicely. Yeah, this is the wheel we're going to use. Clean your wheel up. Make sure there's no stuff in it. Now, I'm going back to, I think I mentioned that before. This primarily wheeling is very important. Don't rush it. Don't take your, take your time because you can't afford to yank it too hard, wheel too much on it. But if you remember, the guard was, with the gauges, the guard was pretty close. So realistically, all you need to feel the lumps and get rid of them, because you're not really stretching it that far. It's already been stretched. All you're doing now, you're smoothing it off. You're not going to, you know, um, get rid of a lump, a big lump or a couple of, blocking line here and there it's the, the guard as I showed you was sitting on the sitting on the back let's call it pretty good you're just going to smooth it all off so then I'll show you exactly what I mean okay remember there's how radius now pressure important just see that look look so now we're gonna go through there very lightly and I'm not even pulling down because I already got the shape there, look. Look. See? Now, if you start to squeeze this now, you're gonna get in all sorts of trouble because it's gonna draw all this out. Chances are you're gonna get it too full and chances are you gotta get lying everywhere which then you won't be able to get rid of it when you wheel it this way. So take your time, not too much pressure, you'll be able to feel. As a matter of fact, talking about feel, let me put my gloves on because I can feel better with my gloves on. Okay, I got my gloves on and as I mentioned to you before, I do feel better with gloves on, but also stops in putting black marks everywhere from my hands, from my sweaty hands. and. Once you've got black marks, you can't see very well, and on and on and on. So, okay, let's keep going with our wheeling. Notice that I'm going back here, I can feel a hollow, so I'm going back here, look. I can feel a hollow there. Now, one more thing, too, that you might have noticed. See, I don't worry about this at this stage. The reason why I'm not worrying about that is because the guard is not at the state that it should be. In other words, let me take it off the wheel and I'll show you. See that? There's no use in doing that and probably stretch it too much until you've got this sort out. Spine first. Okay, spine first and then start coming in. You cannot expect to hit that right when the mud gut is like that. Okay, let's go back on the wheel. Okay. When you see me going back and forwards like that, that's me because I can feel a hollow. Otherwise, it'll be one stroke. Look. One stroke. Now I'm going to chop it around. And I'm gonna come into here. Okay, now, because this is getting tighter and this cannot be open anymore, I'm going to wheel in this fashion.
One more thing I'd like to mention is that I'm not wheeling here, not yet, because chances are that if I wheel here now, I get it too full. Don't forget I've got a fairly full wheel in there. Have a look at my motion here on the tighter part of the guard, if, if you like. Again, notice a wheel here, but not there. I'll change again. See here, I'm right onto that radius there. Now I'm going to this side of the radius. And the pressure is the same. I have not changed the pressure. Okay, let's have a look what we got. All right, now, you can clearly see that it's coming good, but I need to close it at least a little bit to see where I'm going. So what I'm going to do literally just press on that. And you can see, have a look at, uh, see if I can get the cameraman to look at it side on so you can see the shine on it. I hope you can see it. Now, now that we are like that, I am gonna pull my gauge on and see what I need to do here. I don't wanna stretch that, remember, if I stretch it, if I go over like that now, I'm just gonna make a mess of things. And chances are that this needs to come up a bit like so. So I'm going to put my gauges on and determine where I need to wheel next. Okay, let's go on the bench. Okay, we start off with A1. Uh, and of course also, you might see me finding the best position at the moment because realistically later on when this is done that it will go into the guard this line will change, so I've got to keep my eyes on it. That the, 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 there's enough shape here, so when I put it on the guard, it goes down deeper. If you haven't got enough shape, it will not go down deeper. Now, as you can see here, I'm losing a bit of metal. That's because I'm over the top, but I'll fix that in a minute. You'll see me fixing that in a minute. Okay, so we start to get somewhere there, and I'll just check, I'll just check my patterns. Okay, so I'm going to put a line there. Here we go. Now this is only a primary one, okay? That's not, it's not everything. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a line in there and then check it on the mud guard. So let's pretend that that line at the moment is our end here but we're going to check it. Now 
And I tell you what, I am not that far away. So let's start with that. Let's start with this. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my gauge back in there now. This will change. Remember, this will change somewhat when this gets deeper. But that's a start. Providing you don't go too far too quick, you'll be okay. So, here we go. Okay, that tells me that I need a bit more shape here. Whether it's there or there, it doesn't matter, see that? But it also needs a bit of shape here. So we're going to do that now. Now, in order to do this, okay, we need to take this over and wheel in there. Yeah, see? It is touching, touching here. So it needs to do this. But it needs material there. So what do you do? You do it this way. Just to start off with. <clears throat> you have to get yourself a start position. So now we're going to go in there, wheel in there, not just on one spot, but all over. And I'm going to wheel in there. The pressure is the same. I'm only working with my hands and pull it down a little bit, not too much. If you have too much pressure, you're going to put lines everywhere. So now I'm going to do that. I might take up pressure a little bit because the wheel start to spin here. There we go. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look what the pattern says. Okay, number one again. A little bit more. Now, if you don't want to do it that way, nothing stops you to use the hammer and block it. And as a matter of fact, I might even do that now. Get on the sandbag, check it here, and very lightly, very lightly, I'll check it. A little bit more. Right there. And I'm keeping, as you can see, I'm keeping this somewhere near it. I'm going to check it again. Doesn't look that bad, actually. Here we go. Okay, so now that's, for the time being, that's good enough. Because it could be there, it could be there, but we don't know that yet. We need to do a little bit of work here so we can drop that guard, drop it on the guard and, 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 and get the right distance. Okay, so now I'm going to do a little bit of wheeling here. For this, I will change the wheel, obviously. So follow me and I'll change the wheel. And I'm going to use this wheel. I'll show you the difference. This is the wheel we used before, and that's what I'm going to use now. Look at the difference. Okay, now because I've got a different wheel and this is a little bit flatter, I can keep it like that. I don't have to open it. So now I'm going to go in there, put it through there, adjust my pressure, 
grab it, see? I'm not going to do this. I'm going to grab it here, grab it there, and just pull it through. Be careful not to go too far into the radius with this wheel. Again, change pressure, get my foot position, keep this up, and just wheel there. Wheel only where it needs to be wheel. Gonna change it over. Oops. And I'm going to come this way. I want to show you something to do in a minute. Let me just finish this run and I'll show you something. Okay, you saw me coming out of the edges because if I don't come out of the edges, this doesn't get any stretching, it'll start to go that way. Having said that, you can still perhaps later on stretch it this way. But now, let's have a look what we got, eh? <coughs> Whew, it's warm. Okay, 1A. Have a look at that, guys. That's just the start, yeah? Okay, we, we know when you finish yet, but look, very close. Now, let's do what number two says. Here's the two, and again, I'll do the same thing, put it over the top there, check roughly where I'm at. And I'm here. No, I'm not. I'm there. Yep, that's better. I'm about there. Okay. So let's see what number two says. There's the line. Well, have a look at that. Whether it's here or there or there, there's not that much difference. And you can change that with a push. See that? Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to bring this down a little bit. Just over a little bit up to here. And I'm going to do that now. Now notice that I also got a different wheel there. Because that's not that round. Well, it is round, but I can use this wheel. It's just common sense. You don't want to put the wrong wheel. Wheel the type of anvil changes all the time. You just don't use the same anvil. Not on something like this anyway. And I'm, I've got no pressure on this, look. 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 That's the good part about full radius wheels. You don't have to put a mile of pressure. Okay, let's have a look. <coughs> Number two. Okay, you can see that clearly see that no matter where I am, it needs a bit of block in there. I can't lift this up. 
So I'm going to do a little bit of blocking there, just, that's just a touch up, really. Right there, I'm going to do that now. <clears throat> so what you do, there's number two there, open it up, I use the other hammer. <clears throat> okay. Number two, open him up a little bit, right there. And now close him by blocking where he needs it, which was about here. Okay. You can now see that the edges come back. See that? So now I'm going to adjust it. I'm going to adjust that the best way I can. That way, that way, that way. And that way. Okay, let's have a look what the pattern says. Bingo, look at that. Look at that gentlemen. I'll take the I'll take that away. Okay, we could be there, we could be there, but that is very, very, very minor adjustment. Look at that there. I get the camera to have a look at this black line I put in here, real close. That's the line that we think is going to be within a mil or two. And we're going to put the gauge right there. Now I'm gonna lift it up. Have a look. Okay, so now we're in the right track. Back on the wheel. And just simply, no pressure, wheel that in. Don't squeeze. If you squeeze here now, you're gonna put a lump. Then you have to put a lump here. Then you have to put a lump there. It doesn't work that way. Just smooth it off. Just concentrate on that and smooth it off. Okay, I got a little bit past it so I can blend it into the next one. There we go. Okay, let's have a look now where we at. Okay, 2A. Close enough for the time being. 3A. I'll have a look at that again. And I'm about here. Okay, so let's have a look. Again, same story. Somewhere in this line, we know that's where the mudguard is. But keep in mind that the more work we do, the further in it's going to drop. So this is only a guide for the time being. And I'll show you after how we do it. Okay, well you can clearly see that there's something going on. That is not right. So we're going to bend it a little bit first. I'm going to bend it a touch, which will be here. Because remember, this radius 
here it's tighter than this radius. So let's bend this. Have a look at it. I'm happy with the way that's going. Maybe bend it a little bit here. Oh! I'll bend it here. Look at it. Very important to keep your eyes on that shape. You see what I mean? That shape there I'm talking about. You can't have that doing that. Within reason. Within reason. Okay, let's have a look now what uh, number three tells us to do. Okay. So whether it's here or there, we need some we need some shape, so I'm going to put a shape in now. Gonna squeeze the wheel a little bit, and I'm going to shape it there. All the way to the edge. That edge might otherwise get turned in too far, too quick. <coughs> okay, let's have a look. Again, see what's happened there? So I'm going to fix that immediately. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, we didn't get much there. We didn't get much there at all. Okay, so let's put it on the mudguard and see what it tells us today. Okay, the problem is that it's too round still, we need to close it, to straighten it. Uh, get the camera to go around, and you see what I mean. See this part here? See, it's too round that way, it's hooking in too hard. Now if we close it, we're going to straighten it, and it doesn't, and not going to hook in too far in here. So let's do that now. Can I go onto the bag? And I'm going to put it down there. And I have my knees in there. And I'm going to close that. Okay. Let's have a look. Might need a little bit of... Well, you can clearly see that that's not looking too good. Even though that's too far out. That's not what it's meant to be, so let me just wheel that up a little bit. It's very simple, you just gotta, you gotta look, you gotta look at the panel, you gotta keep eyeballing it. I'm pulling up a bit, and then I'm gonna wheel it there. And I'm stretching the edge as well a little bit. Now you can see then that's changed, yeah? This is probably still a little bit out, but we'll do that in a minute. Okay. Okay, we need to close it a little bit more. So, back. <coughs> Look at it, nothing seems to be out of the ordinary. And we'll have a look at it again. Oh, 
we're getting a bit closer. But what I'll do, I'll leave it at that because I do not know how far down that's going to sink yet. That's close enough for the time being because as I said before, it could be there, it could be there. And if it is there, all I will do is just wheel it that way a little bit and it'll be okay. I'll put it on the back, on the uh, mudguard, just to give me an idea. And i tell you what. <laughs> okay, have a look at this. It's closed. But we need to find out why that's still hollow. But we'll get that in a minute. All right, now. Now, also, I want you to have a look at this. I get the camera to go around and check how far down we came. Just get you to go around, just by bending it. Picking up the two edges, yes. The two edges here, yep. Okay. So what that does is it stops you from working on this too much because you'll be doing the wrong thing. Now, everything is relatively the same. Now, all I've got to do is just follow that with my wheel. And I'll show you what I mean now. I'm just going to follow it. No pulling down, no pushing up. Just follow it all the way through and make sure that I stretch the edge a little bit coming right through. Coming right through because if you stop here, it's going to fall. Right, so I'm going to get my wheel. Start from here. And you'll see me going from one end to another all the way through and I will go past the edges. So, too much pressure. Okay, here we go. I feel a hole out there, so I'm going to fill that in. But again, and you probably haven't noticed, have a look where my hands are. Look. I'm stretching my back and I'm coming through. If I think that's going to get too full, I'll come through this way. See that? Look. There's no pressure on the wheel, guys. There's no pressure. You put pressure on this now and you are gone. You are gone for all money. And the feel is very important. This will eventually will shine. As I'm keep wheeling it and working it, it will shine up. I'm pulling up a little bit, only because I can feel it going funny here. There we go. There we go. Close together. Up a bit here. Down there. As I said to you before, you're only moving metal. You move it where you want it to go. Okay. I guess you to have a look at it this way. Get a camera meant to Come through and look at it. Nowhere near finished yet. Nowhere near, but I'm going to turn it around. Okay. Right. All right, now what we need to do, we need to address something here. So obviously, as you've seen, I got the line there. Okay, there she's there, but I can't get there, so I'll show you how quick it is to do it with a hammer and dolly. 